Brooklyn, dude. You ever go? It's wild out there. Because where I'm from, the part I'm from in Brooklyn, like, nobody gets off the block, you know? They're like, oh, Chris made it to the intersection <laughs> the other day, like, this kid's... But I travel, you know? You know where first place I went? Actually, England. I was like, oh, that, that's where they invented English, so this will be like an easy transition, but I was wrong. <laughs> different words mean different things, you know? Nobody told me that. Like, last name is not last name when you get there. They switch it up. Surname. I didn't know that. I get to the UK border, they're like, what's your surname? I was like, uh, Sir Christopher DeStefano. <laughs> Just cocky right away, Brooklyn, you know? I was like, Brooklyn Knight, you know who the fuck I am, all right? Give me all your finest meats and cheeses, so thank you. That's what they do, just change the TH to an F, and then you're British. Thank you. Fine. Sometimes I couldn't even understand what they were saying, like, so I would just make British sounds to try to, you know, I'd be like, mm hmm 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 <laughs> Thank you. Oh, walk with your head. <laughs> la la la. Brilliant all the time over there with the, oh, it's brilliant. This is brilliant. It's brilliant. That's a high honor of a word in the US. You can't just run around and say, shit I do is brilliant. Like, I'll get emotional, you know? Nobody talks to me like, but over there, oh, look at that homeless guy. Look at him petting a dead ferret. Isn't that brilliant? <laughs> I was like, bro, that's heroin, all right? Come on. He's on crystal meth. He's petting a dead animal, legit in public. So let's pick a new word and regroup because liquor, they don't call liquor liquor. They call it spirits. Nobody told me that. My friend was like, oh, you want to cover my place? Come on, we have loads of spirits. I was like, yeah, I'm not going to your haunted fucking house, all right? Nigel, no thank you. Let's just eat a Fig Newton and calm down. This guy fucking shirt buttoned up. You don't fucking give a shit. Good crew. You guys together? Wow, where'd you meet? At a club. Classy. It's good shit. You know, fucking, yeah, yeah. Was, we were on ecstasy. Just like, next thing you know, now I've been there. That's nice. That's a good, you know, you know my parents met at a walkathon. That's what they met. My mom was walking in the walkathon because she's a great person and she was raising money for breast cancer. And my dad was walking in the walkathon because he had lost a bet. So. He was like, yeah, so then I had to walk in a walk it down like a homo, and I met your mother. And that's always ha how he says it, like a homo. It's like, what's gay about walking in a walkathon? But you have to understand, when you meet my father, he assumes you're gay. And then you have to work your way back to prove to him that you're straight. And if you mess up once, you're gay forever. I had a blueberry yogurt when I was 15. It's never been the same since. If he was here right now, he'd be like, lick the microphone, Chris, so you know you want to. Just give it a little lick. Shove it right at your ass. You fucking love it. It's hard, dude. You don't want to, he doesn't want to laugh. He's on, you know, he's on a date. I don't approve of that. You want to go to the club? Okay. Maybe I'll grind on your ass, but I don't approve of that joke. So, whatever, bro. Good for you, dude. Everything.